So, hello everybody, this is Davey the Gamer, and I'm going to show you a little tutorial on how to install cars on LCPDF4. If you don't know how to do so, uh, you open your files here. Here's my files, and I got LCPDF4. And what you do is you open Open 4, go into Windows. Now you don't have to make a mods folder for this, it, it don't require one, but what you do is, you go to PC, you go to Models, CD Images, Vehicles. It's going to ask you to hit Edit Mode if you want to edit. So if you download any uh, cars from LCPDF or LSPDF4, if you download for Grand Theft Auto 5, once you download them, you'll see these files, the WFT or the WTD files. Uh, what you need to do, uh, I hit yes for editing, and I've already got a couple police cars on here, but I'm just going to kind of show you and go through with you and what you do. Um, you just drop and drag. See these are my police cars right here. This is the police car that I got right now. And I might want to change that one. So if I change that one, what I do is I got a cup I got a few mods. When I go go into my mods folder right here. I got I just got a bunch of mods. I I played uh, L C P D F R for a while, so um, I got a bunch of cars. I got a bunch downloaded so I could play any one I want. Uh, which, let's see here, this is Police. So I just copy that, and that's it. That's all I have to do, and it's in the game. It's a, That's the same car that I had before. But uh, if I want a different car, say, so I want a Charger, I look for Noose. See what I got. So I got that for a noose, but if I want to change and have, actually have the charger, I just go over here, drop and drag, and it's easy as that. Now I got the chart. Now I got the police charger. You don't have to hit anything else. Just drop and drag, um, and that's it. That's all you have to do. And the car will be in the game when you start up. Also. Uh, I'm going to show you something else too, your wigwags, your lights and stuff like that. If you want to change the speed on them to make them more quicker, you would go to ELS file right here. You'd go down here to see where it says uh, 1, change that to 0, change this to 0, and hit save. See, it's just showing you like 0 to 5, your ELS, ELS lights will change it to either fast or, or slow, or you can change either one, uh, the front and back, or whatever you want. All you have to do is hit save, that's it, it's saved. Now, if you're, if you're more into the game, and you got other police cars on there and other files and you can go through and change the default to whatever cars you want to use um, Coronas so I could turn Coronas on so turn Coronas on I'm just going to turn all these on and show you how they work because you, you'll be uh, uh, surprised and I'll show you in game how they work and everything like that. It's it's pretty easy if you know what you're doing and you're not going to mess anything up. It's not going to hurt anything if you change these files around just a little bit to kind of play and figure out what you're doing in the game. So that's pretty much it for that. Now, if you wanted to change the background, 
or if your game's lagging and you're losing uh, you're losing frames or if your game's crashing some of the ELS has this advanced DLL file and what you do is if your game's crashing crashing on 1.1 what you do is do remove this file right here this file you can still play the game it's pretty easy to do um, just delete that try your game out see if it plays if it plays then you know that's what your issue was but I think this file is like for the taser or something like that but um, if your if your games have an errors in it and you and you're missing um, the background screen what you could do is I'm not sure uh, what your what all your computers uh, can handle on playing this game or not but if you're fairly new to the game and you're just learning you're just starting out to play especially LSPFR if your computer will handle it you can play it if your computer will, won't handle it you won't be able to play it so if you go in here this is enhancer it enhances your lights so it makes your lights a little brighter so that way you can actually if you pull somebody over when you get out of the car you can actually see the lights they, they will brighter um, you it'd be a little different but uh, before before that uh, if you go here to let me see here look for this on GTA 4 mods.com command line editor what you do is you run this click on this run it show you which I don't need I don't really need this I might just do it anyways just to kind of go through it I don't really need it you find your game wherever your game is in your um, computer you find that you can disable a couple of these and set your graphics to like set it to 2 gigs uh, this will actually disable your graphics in game and make a command line for your computer to run so that way it utilizes your graphics in the game disables it totally and completely and that way uh, if you figure this does work but you're still having problems with your graphics card you can go you can reopen this and tweak some of this stuff and and move it around until you figure out what helps you. I don't really need to use this because I mean I'm running uh, quad core uh, 12 gigs uh, memory, um, a GTX 660 graphics card. So I don't really need to use this. But if y'all want to use it and try it out, you can. It's it's not gonna hurt your computer. Um, so basically, uh, if you're, after you get your cars install, installed, like I said, if you don't have this, uh, what you need to do is go down and download Open IV, Open 4, download, install it. Uh, it's going to ask you to find your game, so find your game when you open it. It might ask you for updates, I'm not sure if it does, update it. Uh, after that, you'll go into Windows and it'll probably ask you to find your game first. It'll locate your game and will tell you what you uh, need to know. But after that, uh, the, the ELS, the most recent one is the 8.51 unless they updated it since then. I don't know. I haven't uh, really looked. Uh, if ELS uh, version 8.1 and 8.0 is giving you problems, you can see if you can find ELS version 7. It would help you a little bit, and you can play it won't, the game won't crash or anything like that. But uh, I've played LS, LCPFR for a while before LS come out. And also, I'm going to state, if you got the game bootleg, 
LCPDR won't play. If you download this from Turn, I wouldn't even try playing it because it's not going to let you. You have to have software to play the game on here. So what you do is, this is my backup file right here. I backed that file up. You see, it's got to be 18 uh, KB. What you do is you hit edit mode. After you hit edit mode, um, you just go down here and find, uh, let's see here, if this is the right one that I went into. Oh no, I'm sorry. You go to common data. You go down here to visual settings. So visual settings, mine 7.5. I already changed mine out, so, uh, but I'll go ahead and do it again do it again just to show show you backup make sure you make a backup of this first so you just uh, kind of click on it and, and do your main one just make a backup uh, somewhere on your computer so that way you have it in case your game messes up you can have it uh, but after that you just drop and drag your new file here into there and you're done you don't need to rebuild anything or anything like that um, so basically that's it if you need any more help uh, with anything also uh, if you're new to this and you're downloading police cars and you want different models and different skins on uh, police cars once, you, once you're able to have like uh, this police car right here uh, you can change the skin, and it's pretty easy. You just click on this file right here, and this is all your textures and stuff. And you can change this over to like this, so that way you can see it more better. These are all your skins, and if you downloaded a skin and you want to change it to that cop car, what you do is you name each file like this right here. So one, two, three, four. You name it just like this, and what you need to do is you just copy and replace. So once you copy and replace, you hit save, and once you hit save, you're done. It should copy to the police car if it works on that police car. But uh, this is, if you need any more help with anything, and uh, I'm David the Gamer, I'll be glad to help you. Just message me. Um, if you like what you saw, please hit like, share. Uh, subscribe if you ain't subscribed already and I'll do some more tutorial videos on LCPDFR and also I'll do some on LSPDFR also got a few games that I'm going to try to play here pretty soon just to put on my YouTube channel um, so if you like what you see uh, please hit like and subscribe uh, let me know what you you could also dislike let me know what you think, and uh, thank you uh, for watching my videos, and God bless.